Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to give you guys a quick update. It's been a little while. Uh, we've been busy building and shipping out the X4 units to everyone. Uh, and it's been really fun seeing you guys build them and uh, fly them and posting your pictures and videos on the forum. It's been cool seeing all the little modifications people have been making. Um, little 3D prints and all that good stuff. And that's kind of what the X4 is designed around. It's designed to be a bit more of an experimental DIY build um, and it's and it's been really cool seeing that and while that's cool for some it's not that great for others some people are you know getting into the sport and they say I just want to fly electric and, and there's a couple options out there a lot of like a lot of the full pre-built ones out of the box are really expensive you know ten thousand dollars plus and the X4 they're like man I don't want to have to do any soldering or like DIYing and kind of choosing my components and stuff like that and while I like the flexibility sometimes, um, other times I just want to fly, I want it to be simple, and that's kind of what makes electric great. It can be really simple, it doesn't, you don't have to be a mechanic, but the X4 could be simpler. It's not an out of the box flying like solution for uh, those people that don't really want to mess around with choosing their different components. So that's, that's one major thing the X4 can be improved on. The other thing I wish the X4 had a little bit more of is, you know, flight time. Um, while like 20, 25 minutes probably like my what I get on a like standard battery setup with the four bonkas um, It's great, and it, it really probably covers 90% of my flying uh, even with my gas units. I rarely find myself flying more than an hour or even a half an hour um, And that's something you guys could just I guess test it You kind of don't believe it until you see it, but if you time your friends see how long they're actually flying um and not just on the ground or waiting for the wind to die down or you know waiting it usually is there's a smaller amount of time you're actually in there than what people think they are so that's that's something fun to like kind of test to see maybe maybe you are the person that you know flies super cross countries and that's all they care about and they don't mind the little bit more vibrations and and louder two-stroke noise and and you know more maintenance with the two-stroke um, so maybe that is an option for them but most people I'd say that's probably 1% of people, but you know, 99% of people, they they really don't fly more than an hour. And the X4, I wish it just needs a little bit more, but that's why we've been working on uh, the new unit here, the single prop unit. And now this isn't a replacement to the X4. The X4 is still gonna exist. They both have their pros and cons. This one doesn't fold up quite the same as the X4. It's a, a kind of a standard, typical like construction. It's a, a a magnesium aluminum alloy mix so it's still really strong and lightweight but it doesn't fold up the same way it still is easy to break down it just takes maybe a minute longer to break down but the other thing is you know it's got a lot better flight time and it's it's a lot quieter it's got that deeper tone um, with the bigger single prop uh, than the smaller four props um, while it does have torque unlike the x4 um, you got offset bars and most modern units have that and it's really not noticeable at all so this is kind of more of a solution for the masses, I'd say. Maybe it's probably the best solution for 90% of people who want to get into electric or just paramotoring in general. It's got that hour flight time, and so basically double the X4, and it's got an easy battery. It's a full custom-built like lithium-ion pouch, a full CNC and heat sinked out and everything. It's, it's really cool, and we've been working on it a ton and put a lot, a lot of time and resources into it. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, this isn't like an official release video. I'm gonna have that here in the next, I don't know, probably two, three weeks. Um, once I get, you can see how this, we'll just show you guys why not. This uh, still has like the, I don't know, the, there's non-powder coated frame, but you can kind of see how that battery swaps in there. Uh, it slides in the back. I'll show you the other one. I'll kind of add in some inserts and stuff like that, but it's kind of the setup. So it's easy to pull pull the battery right off the back, and that's something that makes it like really great, and you can just swap batteries easy at the field. It's one plug to charge it up and one plug to fly in. Um, you don't really have to know much, so stay tuned. Um, we'll be kind of giving updates about it, and feel free to, you know, post your questions in the comments below. All right, let me know, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. And uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is we're going to be opening up uh, orders for the X4. 
Um, so, but I wanted to let everyone know about the new single prop unit, so they're not putting in an order and like, oh man, there's a, a new one or whatever. Again, it's not, it's not a replacement. It's just an additional option for people. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the main purpose of this video. And stay tuned. We'll be sending out an uh, email update. So if you're on the wait list for uh, any of the stuff, we'll be sending an update about the single prop and about batch five, I guess you could call it, um, for the X-Force. So again, we'll see you guys again. Thank you.